Alright guys, so for the kettlebell swing, essentially what you're going to do is you're going to pick up the kettlebell, just like that, and what you're going to do is you're going to have your feet shoulder width apart, have a slight bend at the knees, right? Just like this, and then if you watch football, pretend like you're about to hike the football, so you bring the kettlebell back, and as you do that, you're going to, keeping your back straight, you're going to kind of bend your back a little bit. Notice that I'm not going up and down. I'm going to, you know, keep the kettlebell here, bend it back down. And what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to extend the hips, keeping my spine in line, extend the hips. And as I extend the hips, that's what's going to cause the momentum to bring the kettlebell up. And then I'm just going to, going to continue the momentum. So kind of it in a little bit of a slow motion, this is what it's going to look like. And as I'm doing that, once again, um, I'm trying to keep my back as straight as possible. And here it is from the front. So feet a little bit more than shoulder width apart, shoulders back, head straight, bring it back, extend out. And so a lot of common mistakes that people make when they're first starting out with the kettlebell swing is that they, you know, they try to go too fast or they use a weight that's way too heavy, which causes them to, you know, really put a lot of pressure in their back. Um, so the kettlebell acts as a counterweight. And if you have too much weight on your counterweight, you're going to really get a lot of strain on your back um, and on your legs and whatnot. So start off light, start off slow, and make sure that it's a it's a controlled movement. And once you get the hang of it, you're gonna be able to have a lot of fun and you're gonna be able to burn a ton of calories. Um, another thing about the kettlebell swing is that it works the hips and it works, you know, the glutes, it works the hamstrings, it stabilizes the core, it burns a ton of calories. And one of the most important things about it is that it engages a lot of the hip muscles that are usually inactive throughout, you know throughout a person's day because, you know, in, in modern society, we really don't use, you know, the, the, the hip muscles that much. We spend, you know, some people eight, 10 hours a day sitting down in an office chair. And when you're sitting down in an office chair, what you're doing is you're doing the opposite of a swing. You're engaging all these muscles. You have your hamstrings engaged for about eight hours a day. Uh, you know, you have your hip flexors engaged for about eight hours a day as well. And this causes a big imbalance, and that's why you see a lot of people, they're walking around, and as they get older, they really can't even, you know, extend the hips out. Uh, you know, or it costs them a lot, and that's not correct posture. You know, that may end up, uh, you know, causing a condition called lordosis, which is essentially just that. Um, so once again, excellent exercise is one of the foundations of a lot of the kettlebell movements. Um, you know, so I highly recommend you go and you give it a shot.